You can never predict what's going to happen on a night shift. It is scary. There is somebody out there just looking for a fight. Stop now! Don't mess about. Ten people outside throwing bricks at your house. Looks like puncture wounds. It's just a different world at night. In the bus! Police. Night Shift 999 continues tonight at 9 on Channel 5. Also stream on My5. As one Gloucestershire cop says, people change under the cover of darkness, which makes for a risky few hours policing the night shift. 999, brand new tonight at 9. First, a warning for antisocial behaviour and a mad manoeuvre up a motorway the wrong way. Police emergency. Warning markers for firearms. Get on the ground. Block it in, block it in, block it in. He's now off in the field. Derbyshire's traffic cops. It is one six five. I'm going to try and keep up with it. Battling crime in the middle of the country. Open the door now! He smashed down a bollard. How he's done that? ain't done nothing. From the picturesque peaks. Vehicle RTC. Treating it as life threatening. To the inner cities. Yeah, he's done me. Near side, near side. He's going to decamp. It's a decamp, decamp. Four runners. Under threat. You do what I tell you. Do not put your hands anywhere near your pockets. And at risk. Watch him. Monks on, monks on. Around two traffic cars now. Around every corner. Don't bulk it. There's a new challenge. Hands on the wall. For the traffic cops. Coming up. Suspected car thieves on the run. Take your hands off the wheel. A high-speed pursuit of a stolen car. Speed increase to swap zero zero. Takes a dangerous turn. Vehicle is lights out. Speed now increasing. A wanted prolific criminal. Clips a park vehicle. Refuses to give himself up. A brash old car. And a reckless joyrider. Close to killing one of our officers. Leads cops from six forces on a 100 mile chase. Please stop coming in! Get off! Put your arms out! to all South Mobiles, be aware we've had a stolen vehicle hit the NPR camera southbound on the motorway. What car is it? Not got many details at this time other than it's an Audi heading southbound. In Derby, traffic cop Stuart Smith receives a call about a suspected stolen car. So it's currently hitting the camera, so if we can get sight of it, uh, ideally we need to get it stopped. The information we have so far is that it's an Audi S3. It's made off from West Yorkshire Police and it's coming down the motorway and it's still exceeding 150 to 160 miles an hour. 160? 160 that's doing. I can't go any faster. It's just Tango Sierra 4. Stewart joins Sergeant Scott Riley to form a blockade on the M1. I'm between lanes one and two, sergeant's between lanes three and four, and we've got a small build-up of traffic behind us. Oh, dear me. Here we go. The Audi speeds past Stuart up the hard shoulder. The RA is medium, advanced vehicle, two back trains. Still got a visual on the vehicle. Lane two, speed is one six five. Traffic is still light. Still got a few heavies in lane one. The subject is lane three to lane two. The assumption is the car stolen is going to be involved in some high value thefts. Uh, it's usually the car of choice for people that steal ATM machines or high value robberies. So we're thinking this is going to be a big job. Still, speed is one six five. As Stuart plays catch up. Still lane three, still southbound on the the RA is medium. Ahead, colleagues including traffic cop Jason Potts prepare another roadblock. The vehicle passes in the gutter. 
at the side of lane four. I just don't know how he hasn't just sent it careering off into one of the walls. I can't believe how close they were to killing one of our officers. With the Audi forcing its way past, Stuart needs to stay behind the car until air support arrives. Yeah, four things have we got uh, air pass with visual. As soon as we can get a helicopter on it, we can drop off, not be so close behind it, not put any pressure on the driver and hose in on them like that. Yeah, pass more visual. We're overhead. It's now just passing the services and uh, going under the uh, overbridge at the services. We're going to try and keep up with it, wind in the right direction. At Derbyshire Force HQ, control coordinates officers from three forces to help Stuart. We're still trying to get through Northampton, can't we, so we're going through to uh, Thames Valley, Bedfordshire. Um, might end up at Hertfordshire at this rate. This car's going so quickly, I can hear on the radio they're talking about putting Stinger sights up in the next county and they're mentioning Hertfordshire because within minutes it was already passing through the next county. Past uh, 21 southbound. It's in the unlit section. Yeah, they can keep it lit up, it'll maximise the safety of all road users. And carry on with the commentary, please. Yeah, 4-6, you're moving from lane 3 to lane 1, now back to lane 3. Still, speed is 1-6-5, still lane 3, still southbound. 4-6, they're about a mile behind you, carry on with the commentary, please, they're uh, a mile behind you. I'm hoping this car stays on the motorway all the way into London and we can get more units behind it. Speed's still 165, still southbound, lane 2, passing vehicles in lane 1. As soon as it comes off the motorway, we've got trouble. We've got plenty of fuel, we're only uh, 5 minutes from uh, 20, um, probably got an hour at least. Of course, it's off, off, off at junction 20. Yeah, from the shoot, take the first to first, Market Harborough. With the car escaping, it's now speeding through residential areas. Even though it's the middle of the night, there's always going to be someone around. The risks go up tenfold. Just take the uh, left left. The speed is 120. In a 30, there's no other vehicles on the road. Just making ground on it. We've got central reservations, we've got traffic lights ahead of us. The risks go up. So I'm backing away now. I'm dropping my speed off. Still maintaining a high speed, so I'm close to it, should it come to a stop or, or something was to happen. But the main observations at this point are from the helicopter, and the helicopter will take over commentary. Empath confirm you've still got sight of the car. Yes, Empath confirm. Still got sight of the vehicle, it's just a long way ahead. He did uh, momentarily begin to lose control, but it's now regaining control. Yeah, the 4-6 has still got satellites in the distance, still lane 3, still southbound. Yeah, that's the target vehicle, it's now approaching Husband's Bosworth Village. There's uh, a couple of options when it gets into the village, stand by it. 10 ACO one uh, Derbyshire slab control. Um, can you have a DRA please, Northern Speed? From impasse, I can't give speed. Uh, it's difficult to tell from up here, but it is flying. 46, speed is uh, 13140. It's been like extremely high speed. There is no other uh, road users uh, in any direction. It's crash, crash. There they are. We've got four runners. Thank you, there's no one else in it. Yeah, from 4 6 confirmed there's no one left in the vehicle. Oh. As Stuart chases on foot, the helicopter tracks the runners with thermal cameras. So just going into a garden uh, in Paddingworth. I know that they don't know where they are. I'm in the dark a little bit. I'm in Leicestershire now. This is a different county. I've never been here before. So I'm running into the unknown. With other units now arriving, Stuart helps coordinate officers on the ground. 
we can get cops around that U-shaped road around the back of the church. We've got them uh, locked in quite tightly. Is there a dog on this tour group? Yes, yes. As soon as you've got a helicopter, you may as well just stop. There's no chance of getting away from a helicopter, especially with the thermal imaging, even through trees. You can even see where you've been with the heat signatures that you leave on the ground. It's, there's no escaping. The hide in at the back of the church or train to. There's a little shed. Looks like they're going to try and break into it to hide. The, the subjects are on the move, they're sneaking out. There were five of them, we've lost one, we've got four inside. We need to know where that is. Two cops on the road, just to your left. Now yeah, they're there, look. Walking towards you now, on Station Road. That's them. Place your hands in the small of your back, now! I went and arrested every person. Some of them were a bit lippy towards me. It was like we were putting him out. The four suspects are all teenagers. There's a four detained, four detained, and they're outstanding. There's one outstanding, and they all still are going to try and find the other one. Moments later, the police helicopter spots another heat signature. I've got this other person, I think. To the dog handler, walk towards the farm in the church. Go through that gate on the left and turn immediately right and there's some trees. I think it's in those trees. Go across the garden. Is there a fence? Is there a separate garden? Go across that fence. The heat source we saw in the trees is those trees just to your right. Please stop coming in! Get off! Put your arms out! Big fun detained. Right, listen, you make any sort of movements, mate. You get With all five suspects, including a 19-year-old driver, now under arrest, they'll be taken back to Derbyshire for questioning. So, the driver, he looked marginally shocked, but he don't think the gravity of what he'd done and the risks he'd been involved in had sunk in at all. He had no idea how close to death he was. He didn't see the reasons why we were arresting him. He didn't understand or seemed to think it was that much of a bigger deal. It was immature. Yeah, that's five four, well done, I knew it was something. Good job. As it turns out, it's because the lad had borrowed his mate's car and he'd not bought any insurance for it. That was it. it all that over no insurance. Absolutely ridiculous. The lives he put at risk, all these occupants himself, he could have wiped every occupant of that car out in seconds just because he didn't want a £200 fine in his car season. Coming up... Lost at least one wheel. The traffic cops hunt down a wanted suspect. Who are you? Take your hands off of you! Speed increases one zero zero. A dangerous pursuit of a suspected car thief. Wrong way on the motorway. Subject is still seven five hours. And officers from three forces hunt down a stolen van. Move out, move out, move out. Chaps, I'm going to breathe today because we've got a cast of thousands. Well, we're nearly double figures, which is a lot for us. At the start of a 12 hour night shift, Sergeant Scott Riley is giving a briefing about wanted suspects. Dan and Stu, if you can double crew. Things of note, um, this chap is still outstanding. He's still stealing cars. We know what he looks like. The suspect is wanted for offences including car theft and burglary. And at 24, is already a prolific criminal arrested by the traffic cops previously. You're now on arrest on suspicion of burglary. Do you understand? I firmly believe that if you sent every criminal to prison for twice as long, there'd be half as much crime because not many people rehabilitate. It's the same people day in, day out that we're dealing with. If everybody can use marked cars, please, so we can get plenty of visibility out there. Um, and we'll go from there. 
everyone knows what he's capable of. So the risk is relatively high. Mate, tonight's the night, we'll have something between us. We know that if he's spotted by a marked police vehicle, it will spook him and he will drive to try and get away. He's driven up pavements, driven up the wrong way down roads, on the opposite side of the carriageway. He will do anything. All units monitoring this channel, we've just had an AMPR hit for a vehicle. Stand by for details. Three and a half hours later, the suspect car is spotted on police cameras. It's up on the AMPR there. It's come up. It's important we get all the units that we can there. Yeah, 2-4, we'll try and head one. Just one, not too far away. Tango's here for, um, from Amber Valley. Stop me. Scott and five other units, including traffic cop Jason Potts, spread out south of Derby. That stolen car we're looking for has just activated a traffic camera. So uh, we're going to make my way back to Derby. Contact, contact. Where are you coming from? Jake, you uh, run after Yeah, 24. He's come off, he's come off. As Jason continues to chase, tactics are put in place to try and stop the wanted suspect. From an A to all units, uh, we've run this uh, past top desk. Stinger at this time is authorised. So, where you're setting up, Stinger. Nearby, traffic cop Dan sets up a stinger trap. He's driving recklessly along country roads at a rate of knots. We've managed to get to a good position with some good hard cover. At this moment in time, he's got no idea that the police are sat in wait for him. I'm going now, I'm going now. Stinger's out. Up ahead, Dan and colleagues close in on the wanted suspect. Speed 5-5. Five, five. It's on the brake, stand by. 4-4, four, four, we are set to start. This is lights out, stand by. Get ready for a decamp. Speed increases to 3 zero. The vehicle is lights out, vehicle continues. 5-1-4, speed now increasing to 5-0. The car started to snake over the carriageway. There's debris coming off the tyres, smoke's coming out the back with the burning rubber. Speed now increasing 7 0, we're at 4 0. We'll wait till we've got three vehicles in a suitable location. Yeah, speed 7 5. The centre of the carriageway, vehicle is heavy smoke, get on the brake, stand by. Sit, clip to park the vehicle. Tires will eventually start to disintegrate. Speed is one zero. It's really struggling now. We've lost at least one wheel. If it's going towards the main road, speed is two zero. It's a right, right, right. Yeah, we're going for a here, lads. Right. If I get the opportunity, I'll get by. I'll go front. We've got three with us. Yeah, three together. Stand by. And a vehicle stopped, it had ran the, the front car. Do not move! Do not move! Keep your hands where I can see you! Do not move! Just listen to me. Well, yeah, I'm listening. You're under arrest for a burglary, stolen vehicle, disc wall driving, dangerous driving, and failed to stop for police. Yeah, well, on to your side, pal. Yeah, all right. That's it. You're also under arrest for criminal damage to police vehicles as well. Okay, namely ramming with that traffic car. When was that? Oh, what do you mean when, that? when you were driving and you ran that traffic car oh, just no. there? No, nah, you just caught it in front of me. What? You just ran me. No, we well, failed to stop and drove dangerously. Yeah. You want to stand up or what? Yeah, of course I do. One, two, three. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. then. While the wanted suspect and his passenger are taken into custody, Scott searches the car. 
Yeah, that brick's ready to go straight through somebody's patio window, isn't it? I can imagine the only reason that they would have that is that if they're going to do a burglary. The focus was stolen a week ago, and it's just one of 1,800 thefts occurring across the East Midlands every week. Car theft seems to be rising. 20 years ago when I joined the job, when cars were easy to steal, people were crowbarring the doors and just jamming them open. This car's not been stolen with the keys, this car's been stolen uh, by using um, a radio device that's activated the keys and they've somehow managed to link a sort of blank key to the car. So it's really quite interesting for us, we've now got the blank, uh, so we'll try and reverse engineer it, see how they've done it. And for the owner of that car, they'll obviously be very pleased to get that back, so it's a great job by the team. It's Sergeant Scott Riley here from Derbyshire Police. Scott calls the owner of the car. Hello, mate. I just want to uh, tell you that we've recovered your stolen car. There is a bit of damage to it. It has been involved in an RTC with a police vehicle uh, following a pursuit, uh, but it is repairable. Once we release it, when we're happy, um, it doesn't need forensics or anything, then uh, you'll be written a letter so you can come and get it. All right, buddy. Cheers, mate. See you. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Despite the good news the stolen car has been recovered, the damage he's caused runs into thousands. It doesn't want to stop, it doesn't stop. It's a danger, it's a danger to everyone. So if he stays out and gets behind the wheel again, I have no doubt that at some point it will kill someone. Dangerous move. Workshops will repair that, but at least it stops uh, this vehicle that, that would have done anything to get away from the police. So yeah, it's a good job with one of Derbyshire's most wanted behind bars. Scott and the team resume patrol with six hours left of the night shift. That's just past me a bit of about 60 mile an hour. 20 minutes later, Scott's colleague, traffic cop Chris Wells-Jackson, spots yet another suspect car. That's me a bit of yeah, this car comes in over the traffic lights. You can see the suspension dip at the front of the car as it almost took off. Which direction is it going? I've got another hallway. That vehicle is connected to a Milton Keynes. It's shown as a BMW M4 black coupe. Yeah, two boys. It's a male driver, I believe. We've got the uh, inside indication off the Repton Road, stuff like that. Yeah, it's a left, left, left off the Repton Road. As Chris follows the BMW, Scott races to help. Tight performance vehicle. If this is going to fail to stop, it's, it's going to be a very high speed. Country roads are very dangerous. You've always got that possibility of something coming around a blind bend and at 60, 70 mile an hour you just haven't got the stop in time to deal with it. He's drifting over the middle line, his road positioning is just not consistent with what it should be for somebody that would be sober or that's concentrating on the driving. See how it falls with you Chris. Hello, mate, you all right? Any particular reason why you were doing about 60, 70 mile an hour through the crossroads? No, I wasn't doing 60, 70 miles an hour. You were ridiculous. No, my exhaust is loud, but I wasn't doing Nothing 60, to do with your exhaust. I sat and witnessed you go at a ridiculous speed through a set of traffic lights at the crossroads, and then you were, you were in a 30 mile an hour zone. I had to do 90 mile an hour to catch up with you. No, boss. Honestly, yes, I wasn't. Yes. That, that's the way it was, and that's what, that's what I did. And then you've done nothing but speed up, slow down, swerve all over the road, all the way, to the point where we've stopped no, you. Officer, yeah. you know these are narrow roads, yeah? And so, I... so, so why are you taking them on the offside, then, into a, a bend that you can't see around? No, I was going 30 miles an hour. Doesn't matter, you're still on the wrong just... side of the road. So turn your engine off for me and jump out. Thank you. Do you have anything to drink? No, I'm sorry. Okay. Grab my uh, breathalyzer, all right. Just stand through your car. 
I'm not trying to be cheeky or rude, yeah. I know that. But I'm at a wedding. It's my cousin, my own first what, what, cousin. That doesn't give you wedding. an excuse. I want you to do Nice start till we reach around the tube and go until the stage stop, okay? Right. I'll keep all of you guys. Blow, 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 blow. Yep, blow. thank you, sir. Or, thank you. Uh, we don't need any more units at this time. The blow interruption, so we'll have to try again. Like you're blowing a balloon up, yep, nice blow. and steady. All right. right. Blow. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, stop. Thank you. Do you have anything to drink at all in the last 12 hours or so? Yeah, like four hours ago. You are extremely lucky because you've blown three under the limit. I only had two pops up, so I don't drink dry breakfast here. Okay. But you're three under the limit. So when did you start driving? 10, 15 minutes ago. Right, okay. So you'd have possibly been on the limit 10, 15 minutes ago. No, but I, only, I stopped drinking three hours ago. Okay, that's fine. But ideally, if you're driving, you don't need to drink. Yeah, I know that. Why only had two cops? Boss, officer, you can see I'm in a suit. I'm from a middle What, 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 does, it, what does that mean? Does that mean you're, ex from, mean you're exempt from no, drinking and driving? I understand it? that. I'm not drinking and driving, though. I'm <laughs> No, no. The device proves that you are. You've blown 32. Yeah, but... So I'm... you've drunk alcohol and you drove, haven't you? No, so you but... took a risk that you didn't I'm need to take. What I'm, I'm sorry, telling sir, you. but the cup okay, is three enough. units per cup, right? What I'm telling you is yeah. another three, yeah. you'd have been arrested for drink driving. Okay. So if I'd have stopped you 15 minutes ago, you'd have probably been locked up for drink driving. Okay? Okay, sir. Do you understand I'm that? Can I just put it from another way? Yeah. Do you know if you were involved in a fatal collision, yeah. even if it wasn't your fault, yeah. all people would say is, he'd been drinking. Okay. That's the point I think I'm the officer's sorry, trying to make. We don't want you to be labelled yeah. and we don't want you to be involved in that. He thinks he's being responsible by stopping drinking an hour, two hours before he's driving. Fortunately for him on this occasion, he's literally just scraped through it. Why would you risk it? Well, you've got a clean license, haven't you? Yes. Are we going to keep it that way? Yes. <laughs> no, 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 that's me. On your way, yes. No, it's back Stop waking people up and get gone. People, there's people asleep. And I said on your way, what I said, didn't I? Don't push me up. They've just been to a wedding and they thought that that was a fantastic excuse to drive exactly like they've done. I mean, yeah, he's blown under the drink drive limit. I appreciate that he thinks he's done nothing wrong, but essentially, it can still impair his driving and he shouldn't be driving the way he has done. Coming up. Speed increase is 100. A dangerous car thief is desperate to avoid arrest. Police, can I have a word? And a suspect is caught on the run. What's this about? There's been a car abandoned on the M1 motorway. It's been stolen. I've got any ask the Tango units, please, that can start making the way M1 northbound AMPR hits. Halfway through a busy night shift, Sergeant Scott Riley and his team are on the lookout for the second stolen car in the space of two hours. So we've got a stolen vehicle coming down from Sheffield. We've got two units behind it. Traffic cop Dan Mitchell is leading the chase of the stolen car. He's clocked on that we're there. It's now a pursuit. His mindset is, I'm not going to stop. You need to remain as calm as you can, even though you've got a million and one things going around in your mind. Still continues lane three, speed nine zero. Speed increases one zero zero. Stand by. Off, off. He goes through a set of red traffic lights. Vehicle continues around the roundabout. 
we'd blow another red light. Thankfully, there's very little traffic, so that's a godsend. They're putting so many lives in danger, including their own, but they just don't care, they're selfish. Something that every single one of us dreads. We can't be going and chasing them the wrong way up a motorway, putting other people's lives at risk. Seconds later, the stolen car driver is spotted by other officers and a police drone is now above. Stand by, the vehicle's been abandoned. The driver is making up on the grassy pavement to the offside. One may arc it, one may take some far may help me. I'm going to try and get um, to where he is. 1024, um, right at the race, possibly footpath. So that's the uh, Knox Dog unit. So it's just about now putting the containment on in the area, getting plenty of cops, um, and he's going to do one of two things. Either try and brave it out, or just lay himself down somewhere. If he lays himself down somewhere, hopefully the dogs will pick him up. If he braves it out, Hopefully, I'll just walk onto a main road where, where a unit can pick him up. While the dogs and drones search the fields, nearby, Scott spots a young man walking the streets. Hello, mate, you all right? Police, can I have a word? Yeah. You've been running tonight? You seem, out, you seem out of breath, buddy. Been arguing. You've been arguing? Yeah, I'm not from around here, I'm just check lads. All right. And are you thinking of Sheriff Hall? Sheriff Hall? Yeah, first, can I have another unit that's involved in this area? Search, please, to my location, which I think is near some woodland uh, off uh, so far, near to the cemetery. Yes, yes. Can I have a unit join me there, please? And uh, then can I have a 10 15 person check, please? Yes, yes. You have any trouble with the police before, pal? Yeah. What for? Uh, another Burglary. 2004, yeah, a long time ago. Uh, you look at how big they are against how big you are. You look at what they're known for previously with the police. If they've got a history of violence, you're thinking, which way is this going to go? So what did you steal from the burglary? TV and stuff like that. Cars or like that? No. no. TVs? Like What's all the scratches on your arms? Fighting. Who with? The group of, what, the MK gang, so-called. Can have a look at you. Where's all the cuts on your legs from? Fighting. What's this about, if I'm asking? What this is about is you've been stopped because there's been a car abandoned on the M1 motorway. It's been stolen. OK? Um, so, uh, you match the description of the person yeah. that's run from it, and you've got scratches all over you, like you've been oh, running through bambles. You might not have been, but I'm saying oh, why yeah. I've stopped you. Oh, all right. I was about to say, I'm thinking, hey, match the description. Hey, you go through by the home. Yep. It's like... I'd say, like, Near not the words, yeah. but you can cut through. Just on that corner. And obviously, this is form bus where I ran through there. I'll take you there if you want. Why are, you why are your trousers wet? Apologies, there no, is no... It's currently subject to Crown Court bail conditions. Uh, there's uh, got curfews between the hours of 1900 and 0700, which is electronically monitored. Just, no, take on that. Appreciate Yes, yes, uh, it's stating that curfew's been removed and, and, and he hasn't got a tag. Is that definitely still live on uh, PNC, Annie? You can call the solicitors if we give you the name and number. Yeah, that's, that's fine. I've been on trial for two and a half years. They are still showing current on PNC, but I don't know when his next court date is. Looking at his disposal history, he hasn't recently been dealt with. His last conviction is uh, using a vehicle whilst uninsured. Burglary theft, making off without payment. Thank you. Hello. Hello. All right. You just watch this chat while I get some radio traffic. And a uh, go ahead with that message, please. Just looking at what this mail's got in progress, the matters that haven't been finalised yet, um, we're um, message saying that Driving a silver stick to London Road, where he's driven in a dangerous manner, contravening red lights and driving in the wrong carriageway. Yes, yes, 24, thank you for that, it's very helpful. Right, mate, listen to what I'm going to say to you. At this moment in time, you're under arrest on theft of motor vehicle 
uh, and suspicion of burglary. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm some right, make sure I'm questioning something which you later on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence, all right? What do you mean by theft of vehicle and burglary? I mean that the vehicle that's stolen has been stolen from a burglary, so you're under arrest for that burglary and suspicion of theft of the vehicle. Right, come take a seat in this car then, buddy. The more and more the net was sort of tightening round him, the more and more he knew that I wasn't just going to go away and he wasn't going to fob me off. I've got to be honest, if we're going to run out, I'd have fancied my chances. Sit down there for us, mate. It is story of I've been to a party at three in the morning, dressed like that, covered in scratches, covered in stuff from the hedgerow, and even smelt like he'd been gardening, he's been through that much foliage. It's just ridiculous. All right, can you, I just want to take a photo of your legs there. Just turn that leg around for me. Grab your trainers for me, please. And we'll just walk over to here and just put your trainers down at the side there as well, mate. Please. Help me out. His shoes are soaking. Well, the circumstances are very good, don't asking. I don't mind you asking at all, because you've got a right to know. It's a burglary in Sheffield today. Um, all right. Burglary in Sheffield today? Yeah. And that's what you've been arrested on suspicion for. Come with me, and uh, leave them there. I'll put them in a the room for you. It's a great result for us. It's a brilliant result for South Yorkshire Police, because ultimately the car's stolen off South Yorkshire. They'll come down and interview him. They'll have to build the investigation. Whether we'll ever get the evidence to prove that he was driving is another thing, but there's no doubt in my mind that we've got the right offender for the job. Twelve hours later, Oscar Sango 36, uh, Oscar Juliet mobiles are on route. Scott's back on duty and immediately called into action. Somebody wants to ask him if they want a rolling block putting on at 28. Yeah, can do. And then also a uh, potential stinger we could set up at uh, the off slip at 28. Okay. Straight out of the office for a uh, stolen car that's coming from West Yorkshire. Hello, West Yorkshire and South Yorkshire are following it. It's, uh, also responding from the station is traffic cop Chris Wells Jackson. Oscar Tango Mobile Units, can I be making your way please towards this vehicle? Yes, yes, make your way. So we're just making his way to the machine 28. Um, see if they want a rolling roadblock put on um, or any sting sites just in case this vehicle fails to stop. Coming up. A wanted suspect in a cross-border chase with eight police cars. As officers attempt to box a stolen van. In Derbyshire, it's a busy 24 hours for Sergeant Scott Riley and his team. A few miles from the centre of Derby, Scott and eight units from three forces are tailing a stolen van from West Yorkshire. South Yorkshire Channel, over. Is anybody else picking out to assist? Over. You can soon travel from West Yorkshire to South Yorkshire, onto Derbyshire, then down into Leicestershire. So we are constantly working with other forces. And when they shout up and say they're coming on to our area, we'll do as much as we can to help them. And when we go onto their area, they do as much as they can to help us. I'll put follow me, he's on, Scott. Do you want his safety? Yes, yes, safety's on. Traffic cop Chris Wells Jackson holds the traffic back as officers in front prepare to box the van to a stop. We really need to 
control that traffic flow down to us. We also need to be really quick to deal with what we're dealing with, get in and get out as quickly as we can. Do you know how many is on board? Because West Yorkshire, South Yorkshire and Derbyshire have been involved, the sheer amount of police vehicles was enough to make anybody stop. And when we're three forces are working together as a big stop like that, it's really impressive. Take it all to the gravel car park at the neck. No injuries, no. Yes, thank you for that. Then I'll take this patch off. Just shows the effort we do go to to avoid any injury to any members of the public, any damage to police vehicles, and and it is a show of strength. Ultimately, it's a stolen car off West Yorkshire. We'll get that recovered from uh, Ripper Police Station, um, and it's whether that the prisoner's transferred straight back up to West Yorkshire or he goes to a Derbyshire cell uh, to be booked in. Is it a recent theft? Yeah. Are you West Yorkshire? Yeah. So where's yeah, it gone it's, from? It, uh, Chapel Town in Leeds. All right. Either today or yesterday. I think it was this morning. He says he's uh, he wants to go back into prison. He's done it to get to get locked up. And he says he's only had a bit of weed today, but he's sweating out man. From the sounds of it, he wanted to be arrested. He's a um, habitual drug user, and he's wanting to get some help. So his way of getting locked up was to steal his motor vehicle and uh, get caught in it. So. So exactly what's happened. He'll probably go back to prison, hopefully get the help he needs and that'll stop him committing crime in the future. It's really difficult to understand that prison is sometimes a better option for somebody. Out there on the streets, people are offering criminals drugs constantly and that person might want to get off the drugs, but they can't. One route out for them is to get themselves put into prison where they've not got that same temptation. A world of criminality can only last so long. And sometimes people just give up and want us to catch them. Lovely. Nice one. Thank you very much. You Have a good journey back. 93,000 cars were stolen last year. One every six minutes. I am seeing an increase in drivers that will take unbelievable risks death-defying risks, driving the wrong way on motorways, wrong way on dual carriageways at ridiculous speeds. And the desperation and the risks that they're taking, it's game over if you crash. There is nothing exciting about being involved in this job. I've been to enough fatals to know that my safety is at risk, the team's safety is at risk, the public's safety is at risk, and the potential loss of life is unimaginable. In this episode, the wanted prolific criminal caught in the Ford Focus is currently on police bail for car theft and is under investigation for a number of separate offences, including theft, criminal damage, drug supply, assault and failing to stop after a collision. The scratched up suspect who the cops believe abandoned a stolen car after driving the wrong way up the motorway. I just want to take a photo of your legs there. Was charged with dangerous driving, breach of court bail and curfew, but he is still under investigation for car theft. Okay, this is how many offences you've been arrested for? It's going to take me a little while to type all up. The suspected van thief was not charged with any theft offences but is currently released under investigation while the police await the results of a drugs test. He says he's uh, he wants to go back into prison, he's done it to get, to get locked up. And he thinks he's only had a bit of weed today, he's sweating. Oh dear me, here we go. And having led the police on a 100 mile chase across several counties at 165 miles an hour. Crash, crash. We've got four runners. The teenage Audi driver was sentenced to a year in a young offenders institute and banned from driving for five and a half years. Who's got four detained? Four detained. 
no action was taken against the other four suspects. And there's more traffic cops next Monday at 8. Slowing the pace a little and dreaming of a holiday of total freedom. Don't miss today at the Caravan Show. From the smallest to the snazziest and all the tips and tricks, new Wednesday at 8. Next tonight, less a hit and run, more a hit and calmly walk away. It's Police Night Shift 999, new in just a moment.